<laughs> Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary and Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Kruznik X here along with Arya Stormborn. Tenma Sabeta. Yep. And Lord Firax. Yo. The story so far, we learned about the the uh All right, so... Forgot what we learned about, didn't you? Yeah, kind of. The deities. Yeah, we learned about the nation's deities. <coughs> and... The Merga and the... Hang on. We learned about the Man Manusia and the Merga, as well as the Satrap uh, you know, of the city... Um, so right now we're gonna try and hit, make our way to the city, so let's get right down to it with the next quest, The Great Work. D did you say you're going to see Nidhana? Oh, how I envy you. She's brilliant and beautiful, kind and understanding. And did I say she's beautiful? I could stare at her dainty ears and adorable trunk all day. And those eyes. When you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. He's in love! Alright, folks. Let's ride. Ooh, this is some nice music. Did you already get the riding map for this area? No. I'm dri I'm driving my uh, SDS Fenrir mount. Hang a left at the fork. I'll wait for I'll wait for you guys a little bit. Rage is behind us, so... And here we are. The great work. Well, first things first. Like what? Oh, um... Oh, uh... The uh, Azim Step. Yeah. Somewhat, yeah. I can yeah. see that, yeah. Alright, let's... Um... This doesn't look good. What doesn't look good? Mm -hmm. Oh, voices. Ooh, what I happened voices. here? Uh, this, yeah, this looks bad. <laughs> Their dress marks them as alchemists. <clears throat> I see no evidence of injury or poison. Okay. Think you style they but slumber? I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. Hmm? You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. Oh, we've got different accents this time around. I am Vashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. Ah. Okay. Hey, where are my glasses? 
people question, of the Great World, glasses? I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? We have new scales? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're awake! Meditating my ass! My friends, gather round. I have them right here. Now oh. I can continue my experiment. Many thanks. One for me. Okay. Those are dragon scales. <laughs> yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. Huh. Uh-huh. Those certainly are... We are fortunate to have them. Scales. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Nerds. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. Oh, really? Did, did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? We come from Kryle. Of course. You're the one Kryle sent. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Okay. Oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. Hmm. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Uh, what? Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. Okay. That is well. You must be quite familiar with Oh no! Yes? Do how the fuck did he move so fast? Is this their congealed the? blood I see on your weapon? Uh. Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been Where infused with it, have you not? If you have to ask these questions, a wizard did it. I should like to draw <coughs> a file or two, if so. Uh. Now, <laughs> see here. Come this alone, is creepy. Come alone. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. Sorry, Estinian, you're about to get probed. Cease your shoving, or so help me. Ruthlessly. <laughs> and Odeonje is praying. <laughs> oh dear, your poor companion. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile. Shall we find a quiet place to talk? Yeah, the, the, these remind me of the uh, engineers from Fullmetal Alchemist. I am Nidana. <laughs> no, it reminds me more. Those scientists did instant teleportation. That was ridiculous. The nation collaborating on this research project, <laughs> but it is here. I remember the, 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 the Fullmetal uh, engineers that attacked Ad. The, the same mm. thing. <laughs> oh yeah, Come good point. Me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. All right. So we're just leaving a stinny into his fate. Yep. <laughs> well, this is a song I haven't heard in a while. Oh, wait, no. It feels like a song that I've heard before, but tis I... not. A lot of Final Fantasy music ends up sounding a lot like other songs. Yeah. Now, where do we go? Up uh, in here. Head south. South? Yeah, head south along the bridge. We.
Interesting. This song right here? Yep. All right. It does sound familiar. Hmm. Allow me to thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared around the world, and we are grateful that you would assist us with ours. Though Kryle herself is tied up with another investigation, Chris is an eminently capable substitute, and we will spare no effort to aid you. So, if I understand correctly, you seek to make talismans that can nullify etheric emissions. Indeed we do. As you know, the tower emits vast concentrations of ether. One cannot go anywhere without it being tempered. As such, we can only study the tower from afar, and are powerless to deal with it in any consequential way. In order to strike back, the satrap bade us alchemists create enchanted talismans. Talismans that will allow our soldiers to venture into the tower, even should they lack innate protection. Could such a thing be possible? Admittedly, we are still in the midst of testing, but we are quite confident. Even prior to this, our people have long pursued countermeasures against the etheric corruption of primals. Of the methods tested to date, those utilizing dragon scales proved the most promising. Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disruptive forces. The mightier the dragon, the greater the resistance. We seek to amplify this protective property through our alchemy. Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we will be ready to conduct a field test, and here is where you and your blessing of light come in. Better than having my blood drawn, I suppose. <laughs> Perhaps so. And owing my co and knowing my colleagues, they won't be satisfied with blood alone. But as for your task, we ask only that you serve as an escort. I will explain in greater detail later, but you will be venturing into the tower's field of influence. And so, for your own safety... I would first test how well your blessing shields you. With your permission, of course. In that case, Orion Jay and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing as you all work to the point of collapse, I suspect you could do with more hands. We would be grateful for any assistance you can provide. If you are ready, then let us put your blessing to the proof. If you exit the great work and turn south, there will be a hill to the right. I will meet you at the top after seeing to some preparations. <laughs> All right. To the hill. <laughs> um... This way, I guess. We... I think so. uh, okay. Nope, not that way. Oh. oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. We never got... I, did any of you guys get your pre-order bonuses? Nope. Uh, for the mount? No. It pro I, I want to think it won't be actually be available till the game actually releases. Uh, yeah. I guess you're right. That's what I'm holding out for. Because I want to think that Shadowbringers uh, did the same thing. Same with Stormblood. Here we are. Okay. Alright, so... How do we get here? Alright, so... If you... He if you go back to where you met with uh, Nih Nidhana... If you head out of the building, hang a right around it. There's... Yep. Alright. 
There's the first one. All right, let's put things let's, to the proof. By the way, these these elephants are huge. <laughs> Good lord. I hope you didn't have trouble finding this place <laughs> or climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to the physical strain. I give you the everywhere. fruit of our sweat, tears, and many a sleepless night. The drunken Deepa. A Deepa is a lantern presented to the gods as an offering. Taking inspiration from the tra tradition, we created this device to test the talisman's efficacy. Upon activation, it will remove a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of ether. In lieu of corruption, those lacking sufficient protection will experience severe aether sickness. For your test, you will be exposed four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin whenever you're ready. I shall be observing from a safe distance. Commencing etheric exposure <laughs> testing. Repeat. Commencing etheric exposure testing. Retreat to a safe distance if you are not the subject. Follow the drunken Deepa's lead and try not to fall behind. We. Ready in ether. Please stand back. I guess we stand back a bit. Yeah, you run away as soon as you get a certain distance. It'll say okay, ready to discharge. Come back. Test subject. Now run back Please in. Please draw near. Warning: discharging ether. You are struck by a powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject has no irrepressible urge to empty their stomach. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. We drunken deeper. Drunken deeper. We're following a jump. Hopping lantern. This, this, don't act like this is the weirdest thing we've done, Chris. Good point. You were struck by another powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject stomach and bowel integrity holding? Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. You are struck by yet another powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. The blessing of light appears to be keeping you safe from harm. Mm. Subject fortitude rated? Impressive. No irregularities? Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow and brace for final discharge. <sighs> So is the last discharge in the face, that's the most annoying. Here we go. You are struck by the strongest blast of <coughs> ether yet, yet survive completely unscathed. Etheric exposure testing concluded. Please collect and deliver me to the supervising alchemist. Congratulations on retaining your composure and your humors. Hmm. Cool. Here you go. Ah, you've returned. 
and not on your knees. A promising sign. But come, let me take the deeper off your hands. <laughs> Thank you. I shall replenish its ether for when the, we test the talisman. So, no dizziness or nausea or anything of the sort? You're feeling perfectly fine? Then the strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There is no risk that the tower will corrupt your ether. With this, we can request your aid for the task ahead with easy hearts. All right. I want to take a quick break. Need a, I need a drink and to clear out something. Um, so, we will be back in just a moment. If you're watching on Twitch or live from PlayStation, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, here are the links provided. We will see you in the next episode.